Hello everybody, today is Thursday, June 18th, 2020, 5.18 p.m., 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 degrees Celsius. I am in the neighborhood of Flushing, Queens today, and today I'm going to be doing a cycling ride through Flushing, Queens. This is the intersection of Main Street and Roosevelt Avenue, one of the busiest intersections in New York City. New York City is still under the phase one reopening from COVID-19. And it was just announced that today, Mayor de Blasio is confirming that New York City will enter into phase two reopening starting on Monday the 22nd. I'm actually surprised to see this many people out in Flushing today on this intersection. This was one of the neighborhoods that was badly hurt from COVID-19. Many of the neighborhood relies on the grocery stores and these food courts. And many of these grocery stores, they close early. But today I'm gonna be riding my bike through here and we'll see what's open, what's not, where people are going to, things of that nature. It's a stark contrast to two months ago when I came to Flushing. Back then there was barely anybody here in April and many of the restaurants were closed. The Chinese community in particular has been hit hard from coronavirus. Flushing, I think, got hurt more than Chinatown did in Manhattan. This shopping mall is still closed, boarded up. Under the phase one reopening of New York City, retail stores are allowed to open, but only curbside pickup or delivery. Restaurants and bars are allowed to open, but they can only do pickup or takeout. Under the phase two reopening, which starts Monday, Restaurants can offer outdoor seating and dining. Quite busy here in terms of car traffic. I haven't even gone up to many of the areas where there's a lot of restaurants yet. I am seeing a lot more places open up though. All right, this grocery store is open. Fresh Mart. That one looks like it's closed permanently. It doesn't even look uh, lit up inside, Guwa Market. Joe's Yummy Restaurant has a sign out in Chinese, probably announcing that they're closed. What I'm gonna do here is to go down a few blocks and then make my way around to Main Street. I think going down Main Street will give me a good idea of how Flushing Queens is doing nowadays. Here's a playground, which is actually supposed to be closed, folks. Playgrounds aren't supposed to open until phase two, but there's a lot of children here using the play facilities and the swing sets. So I don't know what's up with that. All these cars are making a ride onto Sanford. I'm just gonna go straight for a little bit on Union Street and then make a right further down. Well, yeah, interesting that that's happened. In some playgrounds, the cities roped them off, put caution tape around the play facilities, or fenced them off entirely. I'm not sure if back there was an oversight or people decided to take it into their own hands to um, open up the playground themselves. In some places, too, they've even removed the swing sets 
and the basketball rims to stop people from using the playgrounds. Okay, I don't know what street this is, but I'll make a right here. Hopefully it'll take me back to Main Street. If not, I'll be in the general vicinity, I think. There's a lot of um, residential buildings here. Looks like the UPS truck is holding up traffic here. All right, are we going yet? I don't even feel comfortable passing when there's a car in front of me. All right, I think I could pass. There's no cars on the other side. All right, here's Casino Boulevard. One of the main streets on Flushing, Queens, or of Flushing, Queens, I should say. All right, I believe that's Main Street up ahead. Actually, it's not. This is uh, Franklin, no, Colden Street. Main Street is the next block. And I'll make a right over here. Hey, parking garage is getting some use. Many people who have come by this area know how crazy car parking is. Street parking can be near impossible sometimes to look for. There's the Sky Foods supermarket, which is actually open despite the boards in front. The main entrance isn't boarded up, but it's interesting that they left the boards up. New pot, hot pot restaurant is open. Here's the East Buffet and Restaurant, which I think uh, is closed. That sign says it's under renovations, opening May 1st, but I don't think that's happening. All right, so here's a bunch of supermarkets. Chung Fat Supermarket and Great Wall Supermarket. Good to see that these supermarkets are open. The community relies heavily on these supermarkets and when they close up, it's very difficult for them. I know people who live here who have had to drive to other supermarkets and other neighborhoods in order to get their supplies and foods. Back then, I remember hearing the rumors of the supermarkets closing because the suppliers were closing up and it was hard to get uh, products to stock their shelves. That's one of the main reasons why they closed up as well as the uh, employees. They didn't feel safe coming into work because of COVID-19 and health related issues. And also they felt like the pay wasn't justified. And I completely feel for them. Many of these grocery store employees and deli employees, they don't really get paid enough for the risk that they had to take on back then. But it seems like almost every single grocery store on Main Street is open, with the exception of that one over there, the Sparkling Supermarket at 41st Road and Main Street. But it's lively here on Main Street, folks. I see most people here wearing masks. Even the restaurants are all open. Many of them, they can't wait to go back to business. They need to uh, make their living. There's a plane up ahead of me. The airport is not too far from here, LaGuardia Airport, which recently had a uh, reopening of the Central Terminal just this past Sunday. Here's CH Food Market, which is open. 
And also, I know Flushing's back in business when I see bus after bus after bus because this is a major transit hub. I don't think it can get any more busier than this. I just made up a word there. Pun on busier and bus. Tiger Sugar, excellent bubble tea place, is open right now. All right, we gotta contend with Q65 and Q25 here. All right, so here's a store which is closed. Cartier and Omega watch companies. I think high-end retail is suffering a lot right now. Luxury goods in particular, like watches. People right now only really want to shop for the essentials because they're uncertain of the future. A lot of uh, pedestrian traffic here now. This bank is closed. SBT Bank. But you have the TD Bank open and also Citibank. I think the SBT is a local branch, maybe. Nice tune here from St. George's Church. Now this strip of Main Street, I feel like it's going to take a while to open up. There's a lot of places here which uh, are not open. The eyes, eyeglass place, jewelry, busy mall, which I think may be like an electronics place. I'm actually going to make a left turn here, but first I'm going to straighten out my bike and go up here, just to see how this part of Flushing is doing. And then I'll wrap my way around and go into um, Roseville Avenue again. I want to check out some of those stores. I do wonder what's going to happen though when phase two comes and these Chinese restaurants and Asian markets are allowed to have outdoor dining because right now the sidewalks look pretty full on Main Street and if they're allowed to do outdoor dining it's just going to restrict the sidewalks even more so something's really going to have to be done about that I would think sidewalk space is a premium in many parts of the city especially areas like here Main Street the city has expanded Main Street recently they made it much wider which I think is definitely needed I also read that the city wants to turn parts of Main Street into a busway only, similar to what's been done to 14th Street in Manhattan. All right, so I think this big restaurant is open, the Kanji Village Restaurant and Bar. This hot pot restaurant may be open as well. If they're not open, then it's just the front door. Okay, I'm going to make a left here onto Prince Street. Follow this car here. New Orleans Crab Boil is open, as seen by that sign there, but takeout and delivery open. This one says we're open, the Kulu desserts, great durian desserts there. All right, we got some more restaurants here. You see over here, this is what I mean by the sidewalk space. If you have an outdoor table here, how much sidewalk space are you going to have in like here, the alley, which is actually a new bubble tea place. I didn't even know opened up here in Flushing. But you have the garbage cans here, and you have the uh, staircase entrance to the basement. And if you put an outdoor table here, there's really no room on the sidewalk. So we'll see. 
Here's 44 South Village, Taipei Beef Noodles, Taiwanese restaurant. I didn't know this was open up, but these are all new restaurants now, which I haven't seen in a while. I might have to try them someday. There's a random mattress on the side of that building. I don't know why. But I'll get to know more once I go on to Roseville Avenue and see if that food court is open. Here's Nanxiang Xiaolongbao, which is closed. The lights are all dimmed out. There's some famous spots in here, like the Spot Dessert Bar and also a uh, chicken place. It's a Korean chicken place. I forgot the name of it. Iris Tea and Bakery is open. Two Slidors is closed. I see the tables upside down. Oh wait, it is open. It just looked dim from the outside. Anyway. Let's check out over here. There's some stores here which have basements and street level entrances. Roosevelt Pharmacy is open. All these hair salons are closed still. They can open on the face too, but it'll be interesting to see how people react to the hair salons being open during phase two. I think pretty much everyone needs a haircut now. Hey, New York Food Court is open. And I thought that food courts would have a hard time adjusting to everything. But looking inside, there do seem to be some stands that are open in there. But as far as dining in the food court goes, I don't think that's going to be available for a long time. After all, all these rules with social distancing and limited occupancy are probably going to hurt their business a lot and I don't really know what's going to happen with um, those businesses if they're even viable to operate at that reduced capacity. I'm sure many of those vendors have negotiated with the landlords for lower rents because they know that this is coming. Alright, let's check this section out here. I always like this particular block in Flushing, Queens. Around this corner, there's a bunch of restaurants here. All right, this restaurant is closed. Fu Run Bay Restaurant. Prince Noodle Cafe is open. Wow, someone's putting up flags here. Grand opening, maybe? Here's Dim Sum Garden, which is open. What are they opening up, grand opening? King Crab House? Or well, maybe it's King Crab, uh, Grace Fu Ho Tower. Oh, wow, look at this place. Yi Fang Fruit Tea, Shuffle Sufu Pancake. That's like a mini place there. Shanghai Tan Restaurant. Fuzhou style. All these restaurants are open now. You know what's open too? This pothole. You can easily fall into it. City, city should close that. Return of potholes mean that the city's reopening after all. In a bad way. All right, Shanghai Yu Garden is open. They have Peking duck counter in the front, $1.50 per piece. I'm sure that's a very smart way to do business. I know if I was passing by, I'd get something for $1.50, like randomly. Anyway, folks, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I'll catch you all next time, folks. Bye-bye. And for those of you who want to know if the New World Mall is open, I do think it is open, but there's not too many businesses that are open. That's the business right in front of me.
Anyway, folks, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.